Welcome to our line, the large line. We are building together a 23 by 26 two-story cabin. We are now at the second floor building the ridge beam for our roof. For our build-up ridge beam, we have to use build-up columns. And right now, we are using the ratchet strap to secure that column, making sure that it's not gonna fall. The other side, down on the ground, we have our living quarters, which is the camper trailer we're using at the moment. This is not a tutorial. We are building this cabin for ourselves and we are hoping that we can inspire other people of doing a debt-free shelter. This is the dimensional lumber we are going to use for our build-up beam, but first, everything must go upstairs. I'm happy that my husband decided not to install the open staircase I wanted to have installed a few days ago, because that would have been in our way, and also that would have taken time away from building the cabin. Our main goal at the moment is to have a shelter for the winter. In our entire building process, we have used the international building codes and for our build-up beam to be able to stand, we needed to install four build-up posts. Our post is in between rooms and because we don't know where the door is going to be as now, we just made a partial wall. And this proved to be a very good help for us. What is your opinion? Is this looking like a totem pole or not? Now we are inserting in the column in the space we already pre-made for it.
Now we are ready to start building up the beam. We use for our ridge beam 8 pieces of 2 inch by 12 inch by 16 feet long of dimensional lumber. We had to splice them up in different sections to make sure they're not all spliced in the same place and nail it in a pattern that is gonna allow for the beam to support everything together as one piece. Also, the pieces of wood had to be supported by two poles before the spliced area and also has to be spliced within one fourth of an opening making sure that they're not gonna splice in the same place. All this sounds complicated probably, but all the information can be found on the online li libraries. Just research build up beams and you're gonna have a lot of info coming from the splice area, the nailing pattern. If you need or you don't need to put uh, glue, we do use glue for our beams. The first piece of dimension lumber was the hardest to put up because we didn't have anything to hang by and once we had the second piece which technically it's um, the opposite side the third layer of the beam was the one who supported the first layer of the beam and uh, helped us having kind of final length for our build up beam and give us structure to be able to build up the rest of the lumber. It might look funny, but I was trying to prevent the tilting off of this piece of lumber. After the first and the third layer got married together, the project got a little easier because we already had the support for the rest. In between the second and the third layer, we put a lot of glue and then we nail it in a pre-made pattern. And again our friend comes by, he's coming twice a day, at least, looking for a treat and attention. He's still shy but he got more friendlier and friendlier as time passed. Here is the next day and we already have put up half of the beam, which means we have up four pieces of lumber. I forgot to mention that our beam is 30 feet long and we are hanging it at over 20 feet high. It's about maybe 26 feet high, something like that. We have opted for a build up beam because we are living in a remote area and a prefabricated bin would be harder to transport. We left one of the totem poles open because we needed to have space to put the glue before we clamp down and nail the beam. I really didn't like that part. I felt fainted the whole time he was hanging over. The 
This is the sixth piece of our beam. We're getting closer to the finish line. This is the eighth piece of our beam and my husband have done it by himself. I was thinking he's taking a rest and I snuck out to do some laundry and there we go, he's doing it on his own. But because the space is tight, he can swing around that piece safer in a tighter space. It was nothing I can do at that moment, I just waited to see what's happening and everything went fine. Pay attention here, the piece of lumber is hanging in the air. And now it's hanging in the air again. This is the moment we are cutting the excess of the totem pole's ears. We don't need them no longer. This is it, we have our ridge beam and is looking so beautiful, I can't stop staring at it. Too bad it's gonna be covered by drywall and the roof. This is the bonus moment of our life and it's the first time when my husband is getting close contact with the deers because he always have been busy and never had time to go down and have fun with them. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your time. Please share and see us next time.